Aloha everybody. Aloha. I am Rachel and this is the Ohana Adventure. I like this shirt and yes, I'll be wearing it a lot this summer. All right, today we are prepping a lot of Memorial Day barbecue stuff. Okay, today we are gonna make our own hamburger patties. So if you're in a rush, grab the pre-made patties, whatever, they're fine. But I like to make my own hamburger patties because they taste a whole lot better. So you take and take your ground beef and you're gonna add some seasonings. So we have already chopped up an onion and this is already pre-mixed. I'm just gonna tell you everything that's inside of it. So we chopped up an onion, we diced it and the onion's in there. We added a lot of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Um, garlic is essential. So if you don't have fresh garlic, use garlic powder, garlic salt, whatever. I usually do use fresh garlic, but I go through garlic a lot that I'm already out. So um, a lot of pepper and salt, but garlic, salt, and pepper. And handball size. I think this is about a quarter pound. You could actually weigh it, but whatever. and flatten another wax paper. This is much cheaper than buying hamburger patties. I put in the Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Mommy, I can't take your leg up to the water. a trick that I learned from my awesome neighbor Winnie back in Hawaii. Hey, so we are going to make the sweetest watermelon ever. So when you dice your watermelon, you're going to add two special ingredients and you're going to think, what? But tell, telling you, my kids devoured it faster than they normally do. And everyone is like, wow, what did you put in that? That's amazing. So I'm going to tell you. You're gonna need limes and powdered ginger. Or you can use fresh ginger and squeeze it. I just don't have any on the time. That sounds really gross and spicy, and it's not gonna be. So, got your watermelon. We're gonna cut our lime. And I do half, so I'm gonna put this on top. We're gonna squeeze, actually we're gonna do a little ginger first. Make sure there's no clumps because that makes a really potent part of the watermelon. Okay, just barely sprinkle. You can already tell it's already been kind of um, absorbed. And you're gonna squeeze the lime all over. There we go. Mix it. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut the other side. A little bit more ginger, just barely. And again, it's already gone. Remember, tiny. More lime. Now, this is just a hint, so if you like a little bit more, you're gonna stir it. Taste it. I'm gonna do another lime. And there you go, something simple that will make your watermelon amazing. Okay. And the kids will love it. 